Santa Farm. Yeah, you come right here. All right, guys, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. This is my son's first pedal bike that actually has front and rear brakes. This is a common sole. I think it's called a uh, Ramon 16, something like that. Kind of a strange name. Sorry for mispronouncing it. But this bike should solve the problems that the Specialized, which has nothing but a coaster brake, gave us. He learned on this. Strider bike right here, which was a great, great bike. What's it called? Specialized Hot Walk. I got this bike for 60 bucks used. And he has loved it, but he's outgrown it. So let's get this bike opened up and I'm gonna show you, hopefully, some good quality and detail shots. Let's get to it. Let's go see how it do. Cool. It is hard. So at the box, everything looks good. It's packaged really well. What do you think? Yeah, we're pumped. We like what we see. I don't see any scratches. It's packed just like a full size bike. Zip ties, foam, rotor guards. Let's see how it looks. And big shout out to Cure Cycles. I will leave the link below. He actually recommended this bike to me and uh, I know why. This is practically a miniature real deal mountain bike. Front wheels in great shape. No scratches on the side. A lot more zip ties, which I'd like to see. Well, <laughs> it's a little three-piece cranks. That is hilarious. That's funny. It is funny. So far, no scuffs. I like what I'm seeing. This thing, uh, it's a French company, I believe. And this, this particular model, built in Thailand, uh, so far, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing as far as the packaging and quality. Nice little seat. Everything is packaged really well. Let's get this handlebar free. Welds seem to be really well done. Uh, obviously, it's all TIG welded aluminum. What do you see? Oh, wow, we got all kinds of cool things in here. Uh, is that a through axle? Wow. Okay, let's use that box. Let me see. It looks like batteries. Okay, they actually have batteries in here. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> they actually include a headlight in this, with this bike. And uh, gimmicky or not, that's kind of cool for a kid. And he loves flashlights, so. Oh, dude, a rear light too? Uh, cool. Uh, uh, the battery. Look, the I battery. see. Uh, the, qual uh, the quality is a little cheap, but considered a freebie. Uh, with his door, I can't leave my, with my headlight. I'm telling you. Uh, with his door. I have nice little uh, uh, composite pedals. Hey. That is interesting. So it's definitely a seat post and an old school metal clamp system, but they give you a really nice aluminum seat post with a cast aluminum mount and a nice seat. All I can tell is that uh, you definitely get a little more height with this seat post, and I'm assuming maybe you're limited at a certain height, but even if you're up here, it's pretty big. All right, so now we've gone through everything that's included in the, uh, the boxes. We are gonna undo our handlebars here. Again, really well packaged. And you have mechanical disc brakes in this bike, and that is honestly why I purchased this bike.
All right, now there are two markings right here, and you wanna make sure you get your cables correct. And this one crossing this way, hey. and then this seems to be flexing back. Stop. Which I can't see any other reason why it would go the other way, but like it out front. So we are going to put on the front cap on our stem and get this started. Right now we're gonna do our handlebars just hand tight. Uh, not really torquing them to spec yet. And a little, little scuff right there. And a little scuffing right here. It's just to be noted, it's okay through COVID and everything else. Just happy the bike actually got here. It was very back ordered. Probably waited three months for this one, honestly, but no fault of the company. They were very straightforward about it. The white and black model was actually available. And this one being the green and black, I really had to wait for it. And at the box, I can see we're gonna have to make some adjustments on our disc brakes. That's uh, to be expected on pretty much any bike. I don't expect anything that I get out the box to be turnkey and you shouldn't either. So there you go, front end looks really good. We are gonna move on to the seat post. Now I can see this seat post is very nice. It has forward and back adjustment. Pretty impressive for what you're getting for the price. Nice sight, they actually put a little bit of lithium grease down the seat tube. And what that does, now I go for an easy install, but it helps with this not squeaking since I have this here, I'm actually going to give this a little even coat. I believe that's the bottom right there. Maybe a hair bit higher than I was hoping for. I might actually cut the seat posts. And the more I think about it, I'm going to cut the cheap seat posts. It's probably a little bit too tall. See where his hips are? He's going to definitely want to have his feet on the ground. So we're going to have to modify this. All right, four inches of the seat po post has been removed. Beautiful. You can see our seat will be very low in the frame. Let's get the seat off of here and transfer it over to the seat post. This definitely has a bunch of Loctite on it. It was actually really hard to get off, but we got the seat off. Now, I'm going to put this mount on the seat. That mount needs to be facing upward in the seat and it still has a fair amount of adjustment. I'm sure you can see that. There you go. But if you mount this the other way, you're gonna be raising your seat up even higher. The entire point is that we drop this nice and low. It has plenty of adjustment. That would be your max height, pretty much where you'd want it. And compared to the other seat posts. This is gonna be your beginner seat post on these little. She's little, he or she. And then move on to this seat post. I'm gonna get a little bit taller. Now you get your max adjustment. When the seat's this high, I mean they're cross, cross country riding, the seat would literally be higher than the handlebars. And it'd be time for the 20 inch bike anyway. So I wish they would have pre-cut this seat post, I'm not sure why they sent one. They were almost the exact same length. If somebody wants to put in the comments, please let me know. But this is what I had to do to essentially get this seat slammed low enough for my three and a half year old. All right, from the factory, these calipers are almost always on the drag. It's to be expected. And with the bike upside down, you can pretty much look right down the caliper, see both sides of the pads, that is kind of free floating. These bolts are six to eight newton meters, have an old school torque wrench handy. So let's try to get here. That's a big thunder. No scrubbing.
and right there we are not rubbing at all. Let's try to lightly tighten it and then we will torque it down to spec. All right, so here you have it, fully assembled. What a nice little mountain bike. And the best part, it actually has real front and rear brakes. Quality of this thing is excellent. I would put it against Specialized any day of the week for the frame. Today's standards, like the welds, everything is pretty much a 10. Everything's TIG welded. So is the Specialized. Uh, the quality, I would put them side by side. But with this bike, you only have a coaster brake. That's fine for training wheels, but my son went from the Strider to this bike, and uh, he hated the coaster brakes. They pretty much refused to use them. He has a little four-wheeler that has front and rear brakes. He's fully acclimated to that. Jumped on this bike, could not, just couldn't get a handle, like a mental handle on it. And that's why this bike came into the picture. Front and rear disc brakes, this thing is actually meant to rip. Um, he rides this Strider bike faster than any child I've ever seen. It's practically a sprint with the bike underneath him. This will do him well. I will say, Strider bike, he went straight to this bike and was he wasn't confident. I gave him one good push. And that was it, he was off to the races. Highly recommend the Strider, any brand, doesn't matter. This is a specialized Strider, used, paid 60 bucks for it, used, paid $60 for this, I'm gonna keep it. If we have friends over, they can ride it, the kids can. But this was a big jump, this was 350 plus shipping, so 400 bucks. It's kinda crazy to say for a child, but I have two boys, three and a half and one, and that's how I justified it because now this bike will get use from two kids, so to each his own. But unfortunately, they did jump the price to uh, 390 now, I believe, on the website. So it just that's a little more pain for somebody. But overall, I'm really happy. About an hour to assemble. Check every nut and bolt. Check your calipers. Make sure they're adjusted correctly. Pedals on. Seat posts. I did cut. Maybe you don't have to do that if your kid's a little bit taller, but my three and a half year old, we'll make sure that he can be sitting down and on his tippy toes on the concrete because it's still very new to him and you have to get him acclimated to this style of bike, right? Uh, once he's good, of course, you can pedal up and step on your, get on your seat like any other uh, bicycle, but for now, I just wanna build that confidence. So from this to this, this video helps you, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and thanks for watching guys.